。S 大姐，我能问一下你们是哪个族的吗？啊！你们是哪个民族的？是的嘛，我们是米特了。你们是米特？哪个少数民族？是的，我们是米特了。彝族的。啊，我们是彝族。你们的衣服很好看，好看你们。<笑><笑>欢迎 Internet， Welcome to my channel Season Two on Sing China. Today I am in the beautiful Doushan Guan. I've stayed here for two days already. I really like the food, this beautiful landscape, and the people. They are so friendly. So today I'm waiting for the bus in the station with my luggage, and I am going to start a new destination, Luoping. It's a place where you can see the beautiful blossom, ripseed flowers. And it's going to be a long ride. So, firstly, five and a half hour bus ride, and then another about four hours train ride. When I reach Luoping, it will be almost middle night. Yesterday, they also told me a funny truth of driving in Yunnan. So, in this mountainous region, the Xifu Highway is three times higher than average because it's difficult to build highway. You need to build all those tunnels and bridges. This is outside my homestay. It's a quiet village. Those two little boys in a garden—they are doing something bad. And today I'm going to take a rest and edit some videos. And meanwhile, I've just ordered some fried rice. I haven't eaten fried rice for such a long time that I really miss it. And today I've got um, a customized fried rice. There is wandu miao, those green vegetables, wandu miao, and also egg. I've got a lot of spring onions because I love it. And also they give me a piece of the tofu ru, self-made tofu curd. It's fermented, so now it's salty and spicy. Wow. Landscape I see when I woke up this morning. It's so spectacular. This Kalona flower blossom. It's a very common landscape in many parts of China, especially in the spring. But here in Luoping, this scale is pretty amazing. No need. Thank you. This is so beautiful. Thank you. No need. 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 不是的，你老这么天天带花，我你不容易带。你看，我这都牵着呢。那为什么我牵着？我问他们车子里面的，他们可能会买。他知道。嗯。买到花了。哈哈哈哈哈哈！看看吧，这个。那你老吗 ？The air smells like flower, and if you are allergic to pollen, this is the last place you want to be. 在
Cast landscape can be found all over the world and in China it's very typical in Yunnan, Guizhou and Guangxi. One of another famous place is called Guili. It's also cast landscape. It is formed by the dissolution of limestones. So when water dissolves the rock, it also creates sinkholes, caves, sinking streams, as well as those interesting mountains. And if you look at from Google Earth, you will find those are tiny green dots. They look like goosebumps. I also want to rent a bike, but it seems that it's only for two persons. Look, and it's very good for the families. Now I've got my bike and this is funny. I, I feel as if I am driving now and it's very flexible but now I can go much faster. She gave me a lift on her motorbike. That was really nice of her. Now it is a rush hour, so there are so many people on that viewing platform, uh, and I've decided just to climb this little hill next to me and then I can fly my drones and catch a glimpse of the beautiful sunset. I was quite lucky this morning. So first of all, my guest house owner gave me a lift to the bus station. And secondly, I caught this bus just in time. I have reached Miller City, but just now when I was about to copy all the data from GoPro to computer, I found it's all corrupted. So I have lost all the footages about my trips to the waterfall and about the food that I had in Luoping. Yeah, it happens. It happened to me several times, especially with GoPro. And I came here to have a short rest and a stopover before I move on to Gejiu and Jianshui. Uh, so I have like one afternoon time and now I'm going out to have a walk. <laughs> Now I'm walking in areas that is quite interesting because almost every five meters you can see a table. Men get together, women get together, they are playing cards. Uh, on that table, eight people are playing cards together. 
And in front of me there are more. <laughs> This is such a lovely, lovely elderly life. They are get together in this public square and play cards and have fun. Some of them are playing chess, Chinese chess. Me, myself, I know it's a very competitive game, but I've never really learned to play Chinese chess. Wow. There are so many of them. So on this side, maybe there are 50 tables. And on the other side of the street, it's the same. Most of them are aged people and some even come with the wheelchair. They do not only enjoy participating but also enjoy just being a spectator. And occasionally you can also see the street vendors, those are the fake antiques. How lovely they are now forming a small band with one singer and three instruments a musician. She's asking me to take a seat. That's a very lovely side of the city life here and I really like the attitude. It doesn't matter whether they can sing or perform good or not. About 44% of the population in Milo are ethnic minorities and you can really tell from the way they dress. They dress in beautiful colors. I don't know which which ethnic minority they are. Probably Izu because Izu it's, it has the largest population um, uh, among all the ethnic minorities. <laughs> I am now in the middle of an amazing market. It's on the rooftop on the third floor. In fact, the warm climate as well as enough sunshine makes Mila a very famous place for vegetable as well as fruit production. So here you can find a wide varieties of different fruits and vegetables. Yeah. 
this is something really special about Yunnan since it's famous for its flowers. They also eat a lot of different flowers. Those are some other local specialty, the rose petal vinegar, and that's a passion fruit vinegar. Xixia. This is the rose flower vinegar. Look at this color. Mm. Very good. With the fragrance of rose flower. Can you tell me what this is? Zhongwa怎么吃啊这个? <笑> 嗯, this is the infamous jar that root it has a special order it smells like fish I don't like it but people here they really they really love it This one is called zheng gao, it's like steamed rice flour and this is a yu yu ba ba a kind of pancake made of corn flour du mao mian bing cat flour the name is so funny and the tang yu the boiling rice balls ah, those are the potato chips I have no idea what is that. You have to take a shimmer don't see a new pea. New pea. Did you answer my? Did you get to that? You should be in China. I'm not getting in China. They said it's cow skin. And this is a fried one. Wow, it's such an interesting food. How the how you eat that? I've never tried it. Hmm. Interesting. Tastes like chips, but more fatty. And also beefy. So so strange. <笑>有点奇怪我觉得有那个牛肉的味在里面 This is a popcorn stand uh, they make popcorn in a special way and those are the favorite snack by Chinese people the sunflower seed and then pumpkin seed Yunnan province also produces a lot of things that are considered as western for example coffee, wine and also cheese and this is one of that, it's called ruby but this is made of goat cheese <laughs> She's using a small string to cut it. You 
，拿油煎吃。用油煎的。啊，拿油煎好，我烧一点油啊，就吃了。哦，好的。行，谢谢啊。啊，不要不要。嗯。Doesn't have a strong smell compared with European cheese. Mm. There is no salt in it, and it's fresh, creamy. Um, doesn't have a strong taste, but I like this texture. And now I, I think I need a bread. I'm going to have a luxurious ten yuan lunch. First of all, this is uh, mu gua fen. I've tried this before. So this transparent jelly thing, it's made of uh, mu gua zi. It's not papaya, but a kind of a wild plant. They use the seeds. And this one, it looks like a worm, but it's made of rice. The second main dish is um, liang fen he mi xian. So this one is liang fen. It looks like cheese, isn't it? But it's made of pea. And this one is the rice noodle. Comes with mushrooms, peanut, some jiu cai, and also some spices. And the last one is a pancake, a buckwheat pancake. In the middle of Mila city there is this beautiful lake, the landscape is just amazing and to this side of the lake, so behind those trees, there are many many hot spring hotels I say it because you can just spend about 100 yuan and you get 3 meals per day one night stay in a hotel with private hot spring baths Mila is actually quite famous for that they are from ordinary to luxurious hot spring hotels so I am going to end my videos from here and take a walk. I hope you enjoy watching today's video. Thanks for watching and if you like it, please give me a thumb up and see you next time.